This week has been difficult. Our state and nation seeing the deadliest week since the pandemic started. We are all still searching for better ways to protect ourselves and the ones we love. Now, we've heard health experts change the recommendations for face masks, but what about gloves? W. Singai 3's Gabrielle Franklin talked to a doctor in central Illinois about what we should be doing. While some stores are slowly getting items like toilet paper back in stock, shelves that usually house items meant to keep yourself and your home clean, like disinfectants and hand sanitizer, are still pretty empty. Gloves and face masks have been tough to find in person, too. While President Trump and the CDC are recommending we protect our faces while we're out, the new question is, should the general public start wearing gloves, too? So that's a very good question. And the short answer is that currently the CDC is recommending against wearing gloves when everyone goes out in public to go about their um, daily routine, like grocery shopping or going to the pharmacy. Doctors say to understand why gloves aren't recommended right now, you need to understand how the illness spreads. The main mechanism of spread of this virus is by respiratory droplets, which means an infected person, when they cough or sneeze or even talk, the small particles that are released from the, the mouth of the infected person, when they um, reach another person's respiratory tract, um, that's how, you know, people get infected. But the World Health Organization says the virus can live on surfaces for several days, giving some a reason to take solace in covering their hands. Doctors say if you do wear gloves, the key to staying safe is removing them the right way. Um, take the gloved hand, one of the gloved hand, and take off the glove from the other hand, and then the, the, the glove that you take off, hold that with the gloved hand that that's still gloved and then pinch the inner surface surface of the hand that's still gloved and take off that remaining glove. After, of course, you will need to wash your hands. In Springfield, Gabrielle Franklin, WCI3, your local news leader. Although it's not suggested that most people wear gloves, doctors say the circumstances are completely different for frontline workers dealing directly with COVID-19 patients. State police fall under that category, and they want you to know they may look a little different when you see them out. Troopers are not wearing hats and ties in hopes of preventing the spread. They say those articles of clothing are difficult to clean and disinfect, so they will wear masks and gloves instead until all of this is over.